All right, guys, uh, Joe with Steel Ops. Um, we're gonna do a clay test on our pro plate. Uh, we're at about 20 feet. Uh, is this 149? Yep, 149. 149 grain uh, XM80 out of a six inch 308. 16. 16, sorry, what did I say, six? Six. It's not a six. There's your impact. Um, nothing coming out the edges. Shrink wrap didn't even tear. We'll peel this thing off and take a look at that clay, which is that back face deformation. That's what we're after. Man, almost nothing. I mean, maybe a sixteenth of an inch, guys, of back face deformation. So at 20 feet with a 308, that's pretty good. So pretty minimal back face deformation. You can kind of see the clay and how it indented. That's basically what you're going to be feeling. To see how, to put that into perspective, there's my finger, okay? So it's pretty good, guys. Yeah. All right, guys, uh, so we've got a basically a lightweight plate down there. And what we're trying to show with these clay ballistic test videos is sort of the downside to some of the lighter weight plates out on the market. So. We've got a, one of these lighter weight plates. It's a level three plate. Um, I'm not gonna say the manufacturer's name or anything, but uh, we're gonna be shooting the same XM80 out of a 16 inch 308, and we're gonna be at 20 feet. We're gonna check out the difference between the two. Jesus. So guys, that plate wasn't even pressed all the way against that clay because it was a multi-curve. So it it was there was still a gap back there behind it. Guys, you're wearing that. So yeah, it stopped the round. You didn't get penetration, but man, keep in mind somebody's still shooting at you after you get hit with that. So that's really important. There's there's a line in armor where maybe some armor is too light because you're going to be absorbing all that energy. Um, so same test, uh, XM80. Uh, well, this time that's actually a level four, but it's a composite plate. So it's a UHMW and ceramic combined. Again, a super lightweight level four plate, but at 20 feet with a 308, we're going to see what kind of back face deformation we get. Okay guys, this is super important. There's a big misconception out there that steel is what creates fragmentation. Guys, <laughs> so does ceramic. <laughs> Okay, ceramic can create fragmentation too, especially if there's no coating on the top of it. Okay, so this was a level four ceramic plate. We put it on our ballistic clay gel, and we're gonna look and see what kind of back face deformation there was. But again, you get fragmentation with those too. Again, guys, great, you stopped the round. Priority one, you stopped the round, but you're wearing that, and there's somebody still shooting at you. So compared to the steel, you had the lightweight, uh, totally composite level three and then a lightweight level four and the steel didn't even leave a dimple so we just wanted to show that um, good good stop no penetration but man it's a lot of back face deformation guys